As we get even closer to the spring calving season, and in some cases it's already started for uh, Oklahoma producers that uh, breed their heifers to be calving just a little bit ahead of the mature cows. So some of those are already uh, at the point where they're about to deliver calves. One of the things that people ask me about are what are the signs that they should look for as they're observing these cows or heifers as to which ones are going to be the ones to calve next and they need to get them up next to the headquarters area, up next to the calving shed where they can observe them closely to see if they need assistance during the calving process. Well, let's start with the fact that uh, uh, even a couple of weeks ahead of uh, calving, we may see the filling of the udder. And this is especially true in older cows, cows that uh, give a lot of milk. In some cases with that two-year-old, especially if she doesn't have the genetic capability to produce a lot of milk, uh, we might, may not see much filling of the udder until just right before calving. So that's one clue, but it's not gonna be really reliable. Uh, another thing that we might watch is a little bit of swelling around the vulva, and this will be different in different breeds of cattle. Those that uh, have those with a uh, Brahmin influence may uh, notice that this is, is more noticeable in their cattle than what we might see in British breeds such as Angus Herefords. As we get a little closer to calving time, then I think there's some keys that we can really hone in on. You remember in the past, we've talked about the three stages of, of parturition. Well, stage one generally takes place in the neighborhood of four to 24 hours right before the delivery process begins. And very little can we see of what's happening in stage one unless we're really, really observant. Because what's happening is the hormonal changes that's taking place that uh, allow the relaxation of the ligaments around the pelvic area and the softening of the collagen in the cervix. And this is due to release of a hormone called relaxin that will take place generally in the last day right before calving. Now, this is where if you're really watching these cattle closely on an everyday basis, you might pick up on that particular sign. Watch for the uh, sinking, the relaxation of the ligaments right around the tail head, right in front of the pin bones, and you'll watch, see a, just a real slight, subtle uh, sinking of that area. If you'll watch these cattle closely, I think you'll pick up on that one. That one tells me then that we're probably within 24 hours of when this heifer is going to go into stage two of uh, the delivery process where she's eventually going to uh, deliver that calf either without assistance or with your help in one to two hours. So watch that particular one very, very closely. I think it can be a real key in terms of making sure that you get the right heifer up next to the uh, facility where you can provide assistance to her in a very, very timely manner. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow Calf Corner.